Hi, so in the series of Pascal's triangle, today we are going to find the magic of 11 in this Pascal's triangle. Actually, you can find all the powers or all the exponents of 11 in Pascal's triangle, right? So before we start, let me mark the row numbers. And now if I ask you, what is 11 to the power 0? Yes, whatever may be the number, if the power is 0 or the exponent is 0, the value of that expression or number will be equal to 1. And what are the numbers written in the 0th row of the Pascal's triangle? So if I talk about the Pascal's triangle, I have got a 1 over here. Let me write PT. And on 0th row, I have number 1, right? And if I talk about 11 to the power 1, the value of 11 to the power 1 will be 11 and this value can be found in the first row of the Pascal's triangle which is this. See here we have 1 1 11. Yes, I'll note down the numbers from the right hand side that is the units place. So 1 1 is the number which is 11. Right? And what is 11 to the power 2? It is nothing but 11 multiplied by 11 which is 121. It can be found in the second row of this Pascal's triangle. So 11 to the power 2 can be found the second row or the row number 2 of the Pascal's triangle, right? And if I write the numbers, they are 1 at the units place, 2 at the tens place and 1 at the hundreds place, right? Similarly, 11 to the power 3 which will be nothing but 121 multiplied by 11, which is 121, 121. And if I add, this will be 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 2, 3, and 1, 1331. And this 1331 can actually be found in the third row of the Pascal's triangle, right? So again, I'll write units place first, then tens place, which is 3, then hundreds place, which is also 3, and then thousands place, which is 1. And if we talk about 11 to the power 4, 11 to the power 4 is actually 1331 multiplied by 11, which will be equal to 1331 plus 13310, right? So this will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And this 14,641 can be found in the fourth row of the triangle. Yes. And what about 11 to the power 5? If I talk about 11 to the power 5, this will be equal to 11 to the power 4 which is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 multiplied by 11 or this will be equal to 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 added by 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 0 and this will be equal to 1 plus 0, 1, 4 plus 1, 5, 6 plus 4, 10, 0 over here, 1 carried forward 6 plus 4, 10 plus 1, 11. 1 carried forward. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 1, 6 and 1. So the value of 11 to the power 5 is actually 1, 6, 1, 0, 5, 1. Now you'll say this actually cannot be found in the Pascal's triangle. But as you might have noticed that I'm always noting down these numbers from the right hand side, the units place. So again, I'll do the same. So I'll note 1 and then I have 5. So I'll note 5 in the tens place and then I have 10, which is actually a two digit number, right? So I'll only note this 0 over here and 1 will be carried forward to the next number and next number is 10. So 10 plus 1 becomes 11 and out of that 11, I'll only note 1 over here, which is the units place of 11 and the tens place of 11, which is 1, will be carried forward to the next place that is over here. 
So this will become 5 plus 1, 6. Right? And no carried forward to this place. So this will be 1. So are we getting the same number? Yes. So 11 to the power 5 can also be found in the Pascal's triangle. And what if we talk about 11 to the power 6? 11 to the power 6 will be 11 to the power 5 multiplied by 11. So that will be 161051 multiplied by 11. That means this will be 161051 plus 0150161. Right? So if I add this, I'll get 161771. 11 to the power 6 I am getting as 1771561. Right? And yes, this cannot be seen directly in the Pascal's triangle in the sixth row. But yes, I'll follow the same procedure of noting down the numbers. I'll start noting down the numbers from the right hand side. So if we see the sixth row, the rightmost number is 1. Then we have 6. Then we have 15, which is a two digit number. So I'll note down 5 and 1 will be carried forward to the next number. Next number is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. So I'll write 1 over here. 2 will be carried forward to the next number which is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17 and I'll note down only 7 and 1 will be carried forward to the next number which is the 6. 6 plus 1 is 7 and 1 which is the last number. So if we continue we can also find 11 to the power 7 in the Pascal's triangle and what will be that number? Let's directly write that number. So the first will be 1, second will be 7 and third number here we have 21 so I'll note down only 1, 2 will be carried forward. So 35 plus 2 is 37 so 7 will be noted down here and 3 will be carried forward to the next number which is 35. 35 plus 3 is 38. So 8 will be noted down over here and 3 will be carried forward to 21. Right? So 21 plus 3 is 24. So 4 will come over here and 2 will be carried forward to 7. And 7 plus 2 is 9. And 1 is the last number. Right? And what will be 11 to the power 7? 11 to the power 7 will be 11 to the power 6 multiplied by 11 so that we can find by shifting 1771561 by one digit so I'll put 0 over here and 1651771 and if I add this I'll get 11 to the power 6 so this is the number which we are getting as 11 to the power 7 and this is what we got noting down the numbers from Pascal's triangle. So this was all about the Pascal's triangle and the magic of 11. Yes, isn't it fun? In next few videos we are going to discuss few more interesting facts about the Pascal's triangle. So bye bye till then.